Welcome back to our coverage here of the Irish Open 2022. I'm with a man that needs no introduction. It's Mr. Emmett Kennedy. How's me, it going? Let me just get the COVID gut in there. Let me just <laughs> try and get the, the chin in the right position. No, I'm good. I'm Beautiful. good. It's um, fantastic to be back. Great to be working with you again, by the way, Laura. Laura Laurie Corrie, as it was saying, for the first day and a half on the Chiron. But no, uh, to be honest about it, I missed doing it. And when Paul got in touch with me about Paul O'Reilly and JP are the main men behind the Irish Open now, when they got in touch about, do you want to do it? which was last year originally because of Bloody Rona, um, I was like, yeah, let's go back. And it's great to be here. Finton's an absolute legend. The field size that we got and the quality of the players is amazing. It's great because mm. you were with me when the kind of UK interest and the American interest kind of died off just a little bit and the numbers started to die off as well. Uh, so to see the Irish Open bounce right back up to such a, a huge amount, 20,000, 2, 20, 2,040 players, my mouth words, uh, 2,040 players in the main event, uh, the ladies' main event, which was of the highest standard. That was like, that's not like woke feminism bull. Like that was the highest caliber, and I still butcher. And I me. and I wasn't in it. And I, for <laughs> some reason, Laura Cornelius bubbled the final table. I don't know how, but uh, when you've got two sisters making that final table, and one sister takes the other one out, and when I genuinely ask her during the break, Gracie, like, you know, was that tough? Ah, sure, someone had to go. But then the next day, she's like, Oh God, I took my sister out. I killed her. Um, uh, but the girl who won it, uh, Nikova, uh, Fina. Oh, yeah, I, don't ask me to say her name again. I, I, she just <laughs> burst out laughing when I pronounced her name. Like She was amazing, like yeah. super aggro. But at the same time, she could just pull the handbrake up. We had the, the high roller main event, uh, which was excellent. Alex Beefley. Pefli, his wife Pefli. is not impressed with me uh, for the pronunciation of his name. And then we got to do high six poker as well last night too. So it's been brilliant on the live stream. Um, coverage has been fantastic. But I mean, can you do me a favor and just do a quick swing around the room? Because it's never been like this, Laura. You've done loads of Irish Opens with me. We've never had this amount of tech. The flop cams are obviously massively important for us, the fact that we get to see that. And the largest LED screen, indoor LED screen in the country is there over the final table as well. So is it? Wow. Fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, the tech is pretty special. Everywhere you look, there's a screen. Sometimes with my face on, it's a bit scary. <laughs> mostly, <laughs> mostly your face. Or something else, or, or other things going on. But yeah, everywhere you look, there's a screen with something different on. It's, it's, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? The TV stream has been fun to work on so far. Yeah, very much so. No, I really enjoyed it. We had... Um my, the last partner in crime that I did the Irish Open with, uh, David Lappin uh, and yourself. So David came in last night. Uh, David's always an interesting character, never afraid to just drop a few truth bombs. <laughs> yeah. William Kasouf, yeah. if you're watching this, you mightn't want to watch that YouTube video. Um, <laughs> you definitely don't want to watch that one back. Uh, Finton, as I said, is 90% of the time he's just nailing it. I mean, Finton is a great character and he's very well known on the Irish poker scene, but his commentary analysis is just superb. He's fantastic. Um, we've had Daryl Kearney in, uh, Andy Black's coming in later on, and the standard of players who were left in the main event, like Dan Wilson is a top-class player, Dermot Blaine, uh, Clicky, Patrick Clark, shout out to Patrick. Patrick won the Irish Open in 2013. 14. 2014. Mouth words. <laughs> I'm so uh, mean. <laughs> but I do remember the next year playing closest to the wall with the coins, and we were doing this for fun with Jenny and Bex, and the next thing he walks up, and it's like an Irish Open champion going, yeah, I'll buy into this for 50 quid. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Massive pot. So this, the atmosphere has been fantastic. I will say that on day three, which is day 17 for us, feels like, um, love you, team, is the atmosphere is very different now. Yesterday was very light. It was very buzzy. You know, the bubble cracked a lot earlier than I think either of us expected. Fast, wasn't it was it? super fast. Mm. And while as we're recording, we're down to 30, you can just feel that tension in the air. Because people are getting closer to the final table, they're getting closer to the big money jumps, and you can say what you want about the money, but guys like Dermot Blaine, guys like um, Clicky, obviously, uh, Wilson, they want that trophy. They want to be Irish Open champion, and this is the first one for 820 days, so let's go. Who are you putting your money on? Let's go Blaine. Blaine to take it down. Oh. Blaine to do his magic, yes, put all his opponents in, in the box and make them disappear. <laughs> that would be special. Well, thank you so much, Emmett, for chatting with us. Pleasure Help. as always. <laughs> Pleasure as always, Laura. Superstar.
Anna, looking forward to the final table tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. As long as we're not up until 4 a.m. trying to break the final nah, table. They, they want to do it quick. They want to get to the bar. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> don't we all? Who's on the vodka shots first? Your round or mine? Excellent. Let's go.